Case numbers in the tens of thousands, the incidence of tuberculosis have dropped dramatically in the United States since the 1970s, but it has also not been eliminated. And now Sacramento County is facing its second case in a high schooler in a month. Fox 40 Sinceri Tonsil joining us with the investigation into that latest case. Sinceri. Eric, we're all more susceptible to everything right now because most people are not wearing masks like they were during the height of the pandemic. Still, what the Sacramento County Department of Public Health is dealing with is truly a rare occurrence. Most of the 75 people who come down with this bacterial disease every year in the county are adults. The current infection of a student at Hiram Johnson High School comes on the heels of an Elk Grove High student contracting active TB last month. The teens and staff who shared a classroom with the newest patient who is now isolating at home will undergo screening for the bacteria. The county health officer tells me the cases are not related and that pinpointing their origin is difficult because tuberculosis can, in essence, hide in the body for a long time. A person can get infected and have latent TB infection for years before they come down with the disease. We are not sure where the student may have gotten the infection from. And uh, so our investigation, we're hoping that we'll be able to get some answers to that. But sometimes we're not able to mm -hmm. because of the long incubation period. It might have been that the student got um, infected years ago. Tuberculosis is spread through respiratory droplets. It can live in the air for an extended period. If you're singing, coughing, or just breathing in the same room with an infected person for an hour, being hit with another illness that compromises your immune system is often the thing that flips the switch and makes an inactive case of the disease active. Though TB can be deadly, both latent and active cases can luckily be treated with antibiotics. Nikki.